You know, handheld vacuum cleaners is actually very popular these days. So Philips actually started introducing the Speed Pro Max since last year. And one of the main advantages that Speed Pro Max actually has over other handheld vacuum cleaners is basically, you can see, this side is actually flat. So you can go flat on the floor to get to those hard to reach areas. So if there's anything that's protruding out from the bottom here, your vacuum cleaner won't be able to go at the lowest angle in order to vacuum all those places beneath and deep within the sofa or the cabinet. Now to make things better, Philips actually introduced the new Aqua series. So there's actually quite a few upgrades here from the original Speed Pro Max. One is basically the runtime now can actually last up to 75 minutes instead of 65 minutes. It comes with this attachment which actually lets you vacuum and mop at the same time. If you are doing your daily cleaning, so now you do not actually require to go a second time round the house just to mop the floor. You just only need to go run through it once through your house. For this reservoir here, it's actually enough for you to cover mopping for a 60 square meter room or a apartment. So with one top out of the water, I think it will be enough for the Singapore 3 room flats. So now everything can be done swift and easily with this new attachment. And inside it actually includes two different types of cloth. This light blue one, which is meant for delicate floors like your parquet. This one is actually a rougher material. So basically this one you can actually use it for your concrete floor or your more uh, durable tiles. And these cloths are actually washable and reusable. So inside the package they actually come with two sets of each cloth. I think that this attachment is actually meant for you to use for your daily cleaning and not for your disaster cleaning like you're spilling a bottle of wine which your normal mop will actually still do a better job when it comes to those disaster cleaning rinse and dry the cloth and all that but when it comes to your daily cleaning where you just only need to breeze through with just a light detergent and all that I think this one will work best it just makes your daily cleaning much easier it's sad to say, having owned the Speed Pro Max I wish that they actually sell this attachment but they are not selling this as an add-on to the Speed Pro Max so it's only available for the Speed Pro Max Aqua so this mopping feature here on this attachment, there's nothing electrical about it. It's basically just a dripping of water from this nozzle here. This attachment, they are actually designed so that when there's no surface touching this area, they would not be dripping out water. Place it there on the floor, it won't create a puddle of water like immediately. Probably after a prolonged period, but with a few minutes, 15 minutes, I think it's fine. This is called the boost feature here. And you can actually control the amount of water here by stepping onto this attachment. The water will actually flow out. If suddenly you don't want to mop and then you want to vacuum something first, right? Step on it and release this and the vacuum attachment can be separated. Although it's magnetic, yes, it's still very strong. You see? Even I swing like that, the attachment doesn't fall out. And you don't really need a lot of force to remove this thing. So just like the Speed Pro Max, the Speed Pro Max Aqua actually comes with the 360 suction nozzle. So what's so good about this 360 suction nozzle is it makes your vacuum cleaning much more efficient. So if you notice, all vacuum cleaners, they usually they only have like suction power in one of the directions. So this one actually gives you more efficiency by having a 360 uh, suction around it. So even small particle at the corner of the wall, it's actually easily being sucked up by this nozzle. Another feature on the Speed Pro Max 360 nozzle is that the LED. So other than giving you a better visibility at looking down inside the dark areas under your cabinets and your sofa, this LED actually helps to cast a shadow on those small particles that you cannot see. By looking at the shadow, you'll be able to identify all these small particles that is not visible on the floor. It's actually very easy to clean this nozzle, you see. Just pull it out. If any hand around this cleaning brush, all you need to do is pull it out or basically, you know, uh, take a scissors and cut it away. It's so easy to clean this thing. And cleaning so far is also made easy with this uh, sofa attachment. And the suction is very, very strong with this attachment and the brushing action as well. Everything is in the package. You don't need to actually buy optional accessories and all that. When you have something that is not detachable, right, for washing and cleaning, after a while, you may see a lot of dirt start to accumulate inside. The dirt compartment can actually be removed and be dismantled and washed and clean and dry. So if you're OCD, right, and you don't like to see any dirt in there, right, this one is the best device for you, lah, because everything can be washed. And just like the Speed Pro Max, the Speed Pro Max Aqua also have three different speed. Number one, number two, and turbo. So comparing the two, 
The price for the Speed Pro Max now is six nine nine, and for the Speed Pro Max Aqua is actually seven nine nine. That hundred dollars difference doesn't matter a lot when you think about how much time you can save by doing your daily cleaning and mopping at the same time. So if you do not have a handheld vacuum cleaner at home now and you're looking for one, I think that the Speed Pro Max Aqua is actually a good investment for you. So I hope you like this review of the Philips Speed Pro Max Aqua. And do give us a comment and share this link with your friends. See you!